It's our mission at the Vashuran Centre to have a global impact. So we may be a small little centre uh, located in Cape Breton, but it really doesn't matter that where we're located, it's what we do. The Green Harbour project is spearheaded by Irving as a means of bringing partners in the harbour together with a common mission, decarbonising marine transportation. To be the lead on how we can change port operations to be able to become more sustainable, try to achieve net zero on a timely basis. So net zero carbon is meaning that, that what your operation does, and some things it might do that might actually emit CO2, but other things it might actually sink CO2. So the idea is at the end of the day, they equal out and you make zero impact on the environment in terms of CO2. It's all about how do we help the companies that are operating in the harbour on a daily basis to reduce that carbon output to the environment. Having the shipbuilding strategy enables us then to bring in partners to that common knowledge and share ideas. I think it broadens the, the scope, it broadens the view. It's not just Halifax Harbour, it's transferable to all harbours. It really leads the way, cuts the path uh, to net zero for not only Halifax Harbour, but for all Canadian harbours. I'm really happy with Irving Shipbuilding's leadership to see in the Green Harbours project happen. It's uh, great to see someone like them leading something like this. It's hugely inspiring to the whole team to know that we are driving a better future for not only Halifax Harbour, not only for all of the harbours, but for all Canadians, and try to pave the way for a much more sustainable future for our children and grandchildren. We are pleased to mark World Oceans Day with a new partnership with the Vershuren Centre in Sydney, Nova Scotia. This project is the Green Harbour Project and will be receiving $545,000 in foundational funding from Irving Shipbuilding. The project is focused on achieving net zero carbon emissions in Halifax Harbour by 2050 and will occur in several phases including data collection, research and the potential deployment of new technologies. The National Shipbuilding Strategy is about more than just building ships. Through our industrial and technological benefits obligations to Canada, we will continue to make investments from coast to coast to coast in R&D and innovation to advance the blue economy.